Hello and welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. It's your hosts Ian. Hello. And Gary. And today we're joined by Shelley. Hello. To review 1988 movie Mac and Me. <sighs> Ian, why don't you give us the synopsis? Oh, well, the story is a terrifying one about a group of aliens that are taken from their home and brought to Earth. The family of aliens are separated and the little one, Mac, invades the home of a family and tortures a small child. He then spends the rest of the film trying to get back with his family, who are planning on taking over the world. (laughs) I was uh, introduced or reintroduced to this film about eight years ago, and I love it. It's it's brilliant. Um, When I saw it, I kind of had that kind of childhood memory that it was all a lot like E.T. really, um, magical and then and then you see it and it's it's really not. It's <laughs> it's a mess really. Heavily product placement, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Skittles, everything really. They've just crammed it all in but it's it's a brilliant film. I, I love it. <laughs> this is not a brilliant film. <laughs> this was brilliant in my memory, <laughs> sort of my hazy glow of childhood movies, Mac and Me sat there, just like you said, along with E.T. Mm. and a couple of other movies. Rewatching it now, I cannot believe or understand how a child could enjoy this movie. It is, abs- well, maybe as an adult rewatching this movie, it is absolutely abysmal. I remember, I remember when I was younger, I, I saw the poster and, and saw, the, saw the, the film in the video store and I was just like, I have to watch this film. It looks absolutely brilliant. And I never got the chance until we went to review it. And then I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck did they compile this film together? I mean, the opening sequence, you have these fucked up aliens like... On a, on a planet, you, you don't know what planet it is until the end, mm. and they've all got straws, and they're drinking shit out of the planet's crust. <laughs> and then this, this USA probe comes down and, you know, starts picking up rocks, and then sucks them up with a hoover. they go were they like binary code inside the, the probe or something <laughs> well actually it's sucking up the father uh, character if you if you could imagine that the, the typical sort of nuclear family yeah. yeah and the father's like no you're all fucking coming with me <laughs> and he picks up the rest of his family as they all get sucked up into this nasa probe but then but then they get to earth and the, the nasa fucking opened up the probe and they escape and it's all like fucking shocking and scary and then mac goes one way and the family goes the other and the army kind of, you know, t- Shrugs typical and don't army. Know what to do, really. yeah, they like, just oh, go, go on then. <laughs> we're, we're just going to block some of the roads. It's not like the family could have run off into that big everlasting desert over there, <laughs> which they did. Well, there's one thing: is how the how the fuck did they get out of that compound? <laughs> because you see, Mac, he sort of runs off, which is fucking hilarious, <laughs> as you see him running. And he runs up to the electric fence and you see him that he's sort of blown backwards and his face is all elongated. And he gets blasted back into the compound. But for some reason, he lands on a car of yeah. a family that are driving away. And yeah. I was like, so he kind of flew that way over the fence. Oh, fuck knows. Yeah, he's, he seems to be a, um, very malleable. He can, he can have many different formations. He can be sucked up into a hoover. He can um, be... Elongated, <laughs> stretchy, and then he's flat as cardboard on someone's car. So, <laughs> His he, googly eyes yeah, yeah, rolling yeah. around. I don't really know what he is, apart from <laughs> that he looks like a ball sack with legs. Really. <laughs> <laughs> with nipples on their yeah. heads. See, they couldn't keep one special effect. You know, one minute you're looking at like a plastic doll for Mac. And then the next minute, it's kind of uh, stop motion animation with him walking around. Mm. And then you just see like his eye or close up on his face. And his face is like... <laughs> constantly and you get these little movements but you're just like if this is supposed to be an E.T. film you know you're supposed to kind of hide the alien for a little while and then obviously the kid finds the alien and then obviously tries to find the family no Mac just makes his presence felt all the way through I mean there's that sequence where the family move into the house and Mac stood at the brother's door and he's just like stood there like right 
And the brother kind of lifts up his sunglasses and Max disappeared and then he pulls his sunglasses back down and Max back. Mm. And I'm, I'm just like, this just is fucking with him. This is fucking terrifying. You know, this is actually a scary ho- fucking horror movie. It's that they live glasses. Yeah, if you remove all the nice music and just put in really scary music. It's a fucking terrifying film. <laughs> into the home but he he trashes it as well yeah. <laughs> he's like oh i just don't mind if i just drill into your new home oh. and uh, bring That's, some crap in as well from that the outside. sequence is like i said even more scary you know the kid eric, eric is, the kid yeah, he's yeah, in his wheelchair rolling around the corridor and then matt drills a hole through the wall like this is how we say hello on my planet <laughs> you know and then he goes up to the door and matt's got the power saw and he's like hello i'm cutting open the door <laughs> Will you help me get back to my family? I'm like, no, I want to fucking shoot you! <laughs> yeah, I don't know why um, Eric does it, adopt this kind of crazy alien creature that is terrifying. It's like, why would you? But he does, he really like takes him under his wing like he's his best friend. He's the first friend well, he makes in the new town. <laughs> the, the worrying thing is, is that Mac is supposed to stand for mysterious alien creature. Yeah. Which it doesn't really. It really stands for fucking McDonald's or or Big Mac. Yeah. But anyway, so the, the 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 crux of the movie is about this Big Mac and this crippled child m- becoming friends. But they don't really become friends throughout no. the entire movie. They don't. It's not like they have an exchange of dialogue. No. And he's just yeah, he's terrorized throughout the beginning of the movie. And it, just going back to that scene earlier where he's in the wheelchair and the house has been destroyed and the fucking mother comes down <laughs> and she's like, Eric, I can't believe you've done all of this. I'm like, you stupid woman, he's in a fucking wheelchair. <laughs> so insensitive. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's, it's so bad. It is actually funny. Mm. It's it's on that level of of terrible movies being hilarious oh. to a point, because this film is still fucking awful. It's just <laughs> the mass advertising. They're constantly filling Mac up with coke. Exactly. Just his mouth is a perfect size for a straw, and then it's Skittles all the way. Let's just feed the alien Skittles. Like this isn't going to fucking kill him, you know. <laughs> We're just going to fill him up with sugar and then we're going to moan about all the crazy shit he does. Why? He's fucking sugared up to the fucking eyeballs. <laughs> they offer him a, a, a glass of water and he's like, get that out of my face. <laughs> get that out of my face. <laughs> I don't want that. And you go, then you, every now and again you switch to the family who are just wandering the desert and they they try to wear clothes. I mean, the dad's carrying a black bin liner and the mother is trying to cover herself. So you're like... Okay, so you've adapted to wearing clothes, mm. and it, it brings me back to Mac, who, you know, one minute he, he, you know, he just he knows how to use power tools. You know, the next minute he knows how, you know, he knows English writing. He knows how to drive. He just picks up this stuff really quickly, and it's just all jumbled in. Like we need Mac to do all this other crazy shit. No explanation, because the kids are gonna love it. It's like the, the way the aliens are walking around. They look absolutely wrecked off their faces when you first see these aliens. You're like, what the fuck am I looking at? How did you come up with this design? Did you sort of sneeze on the fucking drawing board and go, that's it, that's our alien? Yeah, with, and, with ET, it's kind of convincing. You kind of, he is scary looking, but you, you kind of a personality comes yeah, out. Yeah, whereas through these the guys end. are just get them away from me. Like, but <laughs> they don't even look like they're aware of their surroundings. No. They're just con- they're, their their expression is constantly what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is Where that? Is Where am coke? I? <laughs> He's starting to move again. What do you want me to do? Okay, Simon says. Alright, Simon says, yeah. Yeah, that's right. On your head. There we go. Your head. Your head. Alright, it's working, guys. Okay, uh, Simon says to you. Alright, great. This is like their their powers as well. When they when they escape from the army base, the dad's just like touch stuff. Bam! 
there's a fence there. <laughs> Blam! You know, any 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 alien movie that followed Mac and Me, the, the, the Americans are just like, nuke it. <laughs> we don't want another Mac and Me on our Earth. We're just going to fucking blow up any alien that comes across. But Mac and Me, they were probably still fresh. They were like, oh, let's just try and be friends with everything. Look what he can fucking do! <laughs> they really do try and Americanise the whole thing. I mean, the, the American flag is pretty much... Waved in your face all the time. It's really pro-America. We've got McDonald's, we've got Coca-Cola, we've got all the great parties in McDonald's. (laughs) It's where you want to be. The dance sequence. Oh. And that is a what the fuck sequence, really. That the whole fucking restaurant just starts dan- having to dance off. I can understand it because you've got those three ballerinas mm. sat at the table looking really pissed off. <laughs> and then you guys were like, oh, it's dance off. So I'm expecting them to get up and dance. <laughs> they don't. They just sit there looking pissed off. And then Mac gets up, and obviously, Mac, being so adaptable to human life, has learned how to dance mm. in a bear suit. With D- Ronald McDonald in the background. I was say, Ronald the, McDonald! <laughs> the most terrifying clown that yeah. ever fucking lived. Next to Tim Curry. Yeah. <laughs> the product placement in this movie is fucking diabolical. This is the most extreme product placement I've ever come across in any movie whatsoever. The fact that they have an extended choreographed happy dance sequence in the middle of mcdonald's when was the last time you went in there and that happened oh i gotta admit when i watched this film i kind of fancied a big man and i wanted coke and skittles at the same time that is the biggest problem i have with me i hold this movie personally responsible for the obesity problem we have in the world today because this movie fucking brainwashed like all of the children that ever watched this movie yeah. have now just grown up and got and are on a staple diet of McDonald's and fucking Coca-Cola. <laughs> it is the movie makers should be ashamed of themselves. Well, it's not so much movie makers. I think they could probably call themselves advertisers, really. It's, yeah. it's exactly. an hour and a half long advertisement. Advert, completely. And you should never subject your children to, to that material, ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ultimately builds up to... Mac getting back to his family. And this is another terrifying sequence that Mac has kidnapped the kids, shall we say, from McDonald's. <laughs> and they just drive out to the desert. He, he, you know, he tells them where to go. And the, the older brother takes Mac into a cave and he walks into a cave. And it's like fucking X-Files in there. You've got these three bodies lying on the floor with their eyes wide open. Like... <laughs> and they walk in and they're like, Oh, they're still alive. I'm like, how the fuck can you tell? These are alien creatures. How can you tell they're still alive? <laughs> well, do you know what we'll do? We'll give them coke. It's the answer for everything, really. We'll, we'll give them coke. They'll come back to life. And th- th- it leads to a sequence, which I think is really funny, where they pull up at a petrol station and a car pulls up against the van and there's a girl drinking a can of Sprite and one of the alien's hands smashes out the window, grabs the Sprite from her and is like, No! <laughs> coke! It's like, oh! <laughs> They'll learn from along at the young age. They'll, they'll learn to drink coke. They'll learn. <laughs> like the end, like the ended sequence. You know, the the the, fa- they, the family walk into a, a supermarket and they start fucking the place up. And the cops are called and the, the, the they knock over the coke stand. <laughs> <laughs> the dad gets hold of a gun and he's walking back to the van with his family and the police are all there ready to fucking kill them all. And Eric rides to them to to get them to put the gun down and the police just open fire on on all the cars and there's this. Fuck off, great big explosion. You're like, whoa, that's where all your budget went. (laughs) And Eric gets hurt. And then the family kind of step out of the fire and bring him back to life. They're like, they, they don't even heal him. They just bring his soul back from the nether realm and put it back in his body. And I'm like, that's the power of McDonald's.
<laughs> it's just uh, I. I, I I I want to recommend this film. I I do to anybody who who's who's seen it before and kind of want to go back and see it. But if you do, stick a horror movie soundtrack over the top. It's a bit more bearable, especially when those eighties music scenes turn up. The jogging sequence. Oh, <laughs> it it's ridiculous. And we watch we watch Mac. In a hilarious hijinks moment where he's riding around on one of those um, uh, trucks and he's being chased by like seven or eight dogs. Yeah. And Max is like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> or maybe he's emoting that. I don't know. It's not the same fucking emotion as when he's drinking Coca-Cola. So whatever. And he ends up stuck up a tree and like, oh, my God, there's like all these dogs are going to tear him fucking limb from limb. And or hump the, him. Or hump him. <laughs> whichever. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the the mother's just gently jogging along, and Eric's just rolling along in his chair. And I'm like, okay, we got the music, okay. All right, let's cut back to Mac, and he's still clinging onto the tree, like <laughs> help, help. And back to the gentle jogging, and back to the tree, and then back to the gentle jogging. I was like, this <laughs> montage is it's, it's one of the worst ever. It's such an extended sequence, and on top of that. <laughs> We don't even find out how the fuck Mac got out of the fucking tree. Fucking tree. <laughs> he just appears at home in the house, like, in the next sequence, just watching television. You're just like... Oh, was, it meant to, was it meant to be inspirational as well? Because it felt like it was, but it, it really wasn't. He didn't really understand why it was there in the first place. It was just a filler. The whole movie is just filler until the next product placement <laughs> sequence. <laughs> uh, Ian, do you have a favourite scene from this movie? Uh, I, I, my my favourite scene is where Mac is torturing the little kid at the beginning. You know, he 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 he's fucking with the TV. He's fucking with the RC car. He's fucking with his brother. The whole power tool sequence is just amazing. <laughs> you know, it, how you could ever show that to a child and the child and and then explain to a child not to mess with a power drill. You know, it's just <laughs> it's just unsure. But yeah, I, I'd say that is my favorite sequence. Um, I think my favorite sequence has to be um the McDonald's scene <laughs> because as a child, I know. That's where I wanted to have my parties, and and they they did it to another level. They just made it. It almost turned into a musical, really. It yeah. Was, you know, everyone was dancing, synchronized dancing, and it just got messy at one point. Really, it was just <laughs> where were all these people coming from? They weren't even ordering anything. Um, but it was brilliant. It was just so eighties. It just that was kind of what the eighties were about. McDonald's parties. <laughs> Uh, um, I think my favourite sequence in the movie comes just after the moment where Mac has destroyed the fucking house and Eric's been blamed for all of the damage yeah. and he sort of wheels himself out into the garden oh, and, he's, and he, he's just looking around and it looks like he looks really depressed. It looks like he's about to commit suicide. <laughs> And then oh the, the the tormenting fucking Mac starts whistling to him. And so Eric starts starts rolling down this bank. And of course, he let, loses control of the wheelchair. Starts at Mac 1 down the cliff face. And you see him go off the edge. And you watch him in this wheelchair just falling and screaming. It's oh. into the water. And then you just see Mac there going, Fatality. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> even him falling into the water is it it's a very no. blatant stuffed doll really. <laughs> it just kind of sits up Pong. see i don't understand that series why you would build a house so close to a drop like that <laughs> you know oh i've got a son in a wheelchair and there's a ramp there and a drop oh it'll be fine <laughs> he won't get lured out there you recommend mac and me and oh, only only for nostalgic purposes if 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 you've never seen it I, I, I would highly recommend to avoid it because you may actually kill yourself at the end or overeat your, <laughs> overeat with McDonald's. I, I'm, I'm sure. That's why I'm telling you not to watch it. <laughs> I, I will recommend this film, obviously, because I think it's there's a, a trend at the moment with so bad it's good yeah. films and this one fits perfectly in it. It's just, it's awful, but it's brilliant at the same time and 
it's hilarious and that's why I'll give it a 0 out of 10 slash 10 out of 10 if you get what I mean. <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> Both ways, depending on what you're looking for. I, I can understand where you're coming from, but fuck it. Don't watch this movie. If I mean, if you're a sort of person that enjoys our 40 minute long commercials... This is the movie <laughs> for you. Otherwise, there's nothing there but for some really cringy moments that have no payoffs, only for a few laughs and giggles if you're watching it with a group of friends. But otherwise, avoid this movie. It is a fucking sham. It is insulting to your intelligence. It is piss poorly made. And it has one of the worst, most patriotic endings mm. that you could ever come across mm. ah this movie should stay as a piece of nostalgia in your memory of your childhood if you watch the movie then <laughs> please for the love of god do not expose your children to this movie because you know in 40 years from now we're all just going to be fat <laughs> blobs like wally kind of predicted <laughs> stay away from mcdonald's and me <laughs> Thanks for watching Off The Shelf Reviews. Why don't you stop by for a big man?